Welcome to the Pro 300 Residential Wire and Valve Locator Instructional Video. This video will acquaint you with the components and the operation of the Pro 300. The Pro 300 Residential Wire and Valve Locator consi Transmitter consists of red and black leads with alligator clips, an on-off switch, a red LED indicator for ground strength, an interrupter switch that turns the unit off automatically so you don't waste batteries, and a ground stake. The 8C batteries to power the unit are located here. The Pro 300 receiver consists of the receiving unit, which has a speaker for listening to the signal, and the antenna. The antenna is detachable for storage, and on the back side is where the 9-volt battery is installed. Now the Pro 300 is a residential wire and valve locator, so obviously that's what we're trying to do with it, is find wires and valves around residential locations. The way we do this is first to set up the transmitter. This is the transmitting unit. We'll do this by connecting the red alligator clip and lead to the wire that we want to track. So we go to the clock, connect in this case to station one, and take the other alligator clip and connect that to ground. We use the included ground stake to do this. Take the ground stake, connect to the alligator clip, shove it into the dirt, and get yourself a nice ground system. You turn the unit on, and by looking at this red LED, the brighter that LED is, the better your ground is. You have to have a good ground for this to work well. When using a wire and valve locator, the ground that you have is one of the most important features. If you don't have a good ground, it doesn't matter whose locator you're using, it won't work very well. Now in this system, the transmission is being sent through the red wire, down the lead to your solenoid and your valve, and back through the earth ground to this stake. You can tell you've got a good ground because this LED is bright. If you didn't have a good ground, this is what you'd see. And then consequently, your locate would be poor. Now that we've set up the transmitter, we're ready to start tracking. To do that, we use the Pro 300 receiver. You'd hold the Pro 300 receiver in one hand with the external speaker and the antenna in the other. As we track the wire, this is the signal that you're going to hear. The louder that signal, the closer you are to the wire and the wire path. However, when you're directly over the wire, you're going to hear what's called a null. A null is an absence of signal. You'll hear signal to the left of the wire, and you'll hear signal to the right of the wire but you generally will not hear signal over the wire. Now let's go locate some real wire. When you're over the cable, you can hear that null signal. I get more sound to the left than more sound to the right. When looking for a lost valve, follow the wire until the signal gets extremely loud. 